filled with bad Proverbs 23. Who has woe? Who has sorrow? Who has strife? Who has complaints? Who has needless bruises? Aside from when you get smacked by a chair. That was needless. Are you getting the picture? Who is it? Those who linger over wine. If they get any wine they can, they even go for the sample bottles of mixed wine. It's not even like buying a bottle of wine. It's like something that's just been there, looked at to taste and <laughs> just go and take all of that. Look at the invitation. It says, don't go there. You'll see strange things. You'll imagine weird things. But at the end of the day, your life will be ruled by the drink. When I was working in the bar, seriously, people would get into fights. Their face would get cut up, and it would be like they couldn't feel it. And they'd just be so enraged and so violent. So I saw verse 34, 35 all the time. They hit me, you'll say, but I'm not hurt. They beat me, but I don't feel it. When do I wake up so I can find another drink? Doesn't this look... This is the hangover. This is the waking up the next morning going, what happened? I can't even remember what happened. How appealing does that look? When we come to the New Testament, the strong understanding is that alcohol is okay, but drunkenness is not. Okay? We know uh, also that we should obey the law. So that's very big in Romans. In Ephesians 5.18, Paul says, Do not get drunk on wine, but be filled with the Spirit. Getting drunk is losing control. That's why people do stupid things. That's why they get into fights. Because they have no self-control. Your inhibitions are lowered. But the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, well, He is the Spirit of self-control. He is someone that if you are filled with Him, you'll actually be controlling yourself. You won't be doing stupid things. So where do we go with this? Well, the Bible says that all things are made by God and are to be received with thanksgiving. However, we also obey the law. That means if you're not 18, you don't drink alcohol. Period. If you are over 18 and you are driving, you stay under the limit. Uh, which means if you're on your P's, your limit is zero. So, you know, I enjoy a bit of alcohol, but because I can be called out at any time, uh, like one of you guys could be in a car accident or something, and I could be phone call saying, can you get to the hospital now, please, because something important is about to happen. Um, there's no safe time for me to be over the limit. I'm never over the limit. Ever. Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> there was a time, there was a time I don't want to. More than the point, I don't get drunk. Sorry? I said, more to the point, we don't get drunk. Christians are not to get drunk. We don't keep drinking when we start to feel the effects. Now, if you find that, let's be reasonable, I know some of you guys, even though you're not 18, have had alcohol. So, pretend you haven't. Pretend <laughs> you've not had a single alcoholic drink until you turn 18. Uh, if you hit 18 and you start having an alcohol. Uh, if you find that you cannot stop, if you find that uh, you have one and you have another and you have another, stop. D don't actually have the first drink. It's not a bad thing to say, you know what, just for wisdom's sake, I'm not going to get drunk. I'm not going to drink alcohol. Uh, in, in 9 and 10, people start hitting the booze. That's what I've seen. When I was at school 20 years ago, 23 years ago from when I was in um, year 9. Um, yeah, people were starting to hit the booze, and some hit it really hit. And then you get to year 11, and there's parties, and it's busy. And I remember going, oh man, I'm not going to be like that. They're idiots, they get wasted. But then, you start going to the pub, and you, you only have one drink. I'm only here to play the, the um, pool table. 
I'm only here to listen to music with my mates. Then you have a couple of drinks. A couple becomes three or four, then it's six. And then you start coming home the next day and sure of where you've been. What I'm saying is if you don't make the decision to not go there, you will go there. If you don't say, I am not going to get drunk, you will get drunk. It's not like we live in a culture that says, oh, alcohol is a bad thing, and so everyone will look down on you for having a drink. No, if you go with your mates to the pub and you get absolutely plastered, they will be cheering for you. The peer pressure is a big thing. And so you guys need to know what's at stake. Alcohol will kill you if you let it. Like anything that we have, too much is a bad thing. Um, I know you wouldn't expect me to get up here and go, ah, oh, drink as much as you want. Like.